Hello everyone, welcome back to Pause Round Plays Darkest Dungeon Crimson Court. Last time we took out the Viscount, which is sweet. And this time, I think we're just gonna go for, uh, well, I was gonna say an easy mission, but you know what happens every time I say that. Um, but we're just gonna go into the ruins, actually. Uh, quite frankly, I just wanna grab another Sun Ring. I feel like that's just a really, really good trinket. There's very, very little downside, especially when we're going into the Crimson Court, when it's always Torch above 75, that it's just very, very potent, in my opinion. Um,. So I spent a ton of our money, like 40,000 gold. I put a whole bunch of people into stress management. I put a bunch of people into the uh, sanitarium, actually. Um, Ripper and Captain Carouser are in there. In fact, I might uh, put someone else in there as well. Fear of Unholy I'm not too worried about. Misses the spot. Minus one crit. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's Crowley gut theme for that matter. A kleptomaniac's kind of a bad one too. You know what? It's not super important though. I think I want to retain the rest of our money. Uh, let me equip this group up real quick here. So I think we're going to use this and this. And we'll see what that how that works for her healing. We don't really direly need her healing to be super good because we have a Tradello here, but I think it's worth, uh, worth trying. For you, we're gonna go maybe Flesh's Heart. Well, you do have the minus 15% stress and plus 10 touch. I mean, it's not huge, but the minus 15% stress is actually not bad. Then for you, you don't have any class trinkets yet, do you? No. Uh, so we'll give you maybe the Fortifying Garlic. And the martyr seal. We'd actually go damage versus unholy since we are going to be going in there. I'm not too worried if you get diseases and such. I mean, uh, not diseases, but blights and such. Yeah, let's try that. So uh, that seems like a pretty decent setup. Again, I don't often show the uh, the process here, as it were, but. I figure this is probably going to be a short run anyway, so why not? Alright, we'll grab that. Oh, uh, we could go in the dark as well. Oh no, because then we wouldn't be able to use our sun ring. Yeah, let's not, let's not play too risky with it. Let's stay in the light. We probably won't need any blood. I'll take two... Well, no, you know what? I don't even want it, because I don't even want to deal with the, um, the inventory space of it. We'll take a key. Pack light, basically, so we won't have to necessarily spend a lot of money. You know what? I will take the other food just in case. Now, this is. Everybody's clear of the Crimson Curse. There probably isn't any. Um, even Crimson Curse enemies in here, or There's Crimson Court enemies in here. Lineage once familiar. Now, Oren. Essentially, uh, we don't have any infestation going right now, so we should be completely clear. You wonder how it works. It's a sack, dude. <laughs> it's not too many ways it could possibly work there. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. So we'll probably go through here. We'll go all the way to the left. We'll go up and then maybe all the way to the right. I might mean, actually need one more room than that. So we should do a zigzag instead. Save the least amount of uh, backtracking. The way is lit. The path is clear. It's a we buff. Require only nice, big damage buff. It. Killing the Viscount kind of reinvigorated me a little bit too. I was in that string of deaths. It was getting me pretty, pretty bummed out. About the state of things. In radiance, may we find victory. This should not be a particularly difficult combat. Oh right, I forgot that we gave him. Um, that's actually really funny. I forgot that we gave him Exsanguinate instead. I should probably maybe take that off because then he can't attack here. As the fiend falls, a 
faint hope blossom. Not to say that Ensanguinate's a bad ability, it's just that I think in our current setup we don't want to necessarily remove our ability to attack outside of being below 50% health. And I'm not confident in not having redeem, I guess, what that comes down to. And with this group I do want uh, reclaim. Finding the stuff is only the now, actually, I was just thinking, you know, we could have taken Pear on this mission. I think I have her in stress management right now. Pear has actually been kind of the hero on the blood runs, which I've been doing. I've been taking to her to all the blood runs to get money, which has tended to work out pretty well. Get rid of that bone royalty right away. Now, we're actually not going to get any bleeds on these guys, of course, but... Well, that's interesting. The, um, I didn't realize that the... The max level ones um, are actually completely immune to bleed, or at least they have max resistance. And actually paid attention to that before. 11 damage um, is still not bad though, so. Precision and power. Hmm. Let's try the accuracy debuff. Hit them all. All right. No such luck so far. Minus 5% crit on that, huh? 11 damage, not bad. All right. Amusingly, the one without the accuracy debuff missed. And all the ones with it hit, all right. Hmm. Just kill this guy. Give them no quarter. Continue to up your blight. Yes, yeah, so they got a 10 damage blight per turn now, which is pretty massive. In fact, uh, let's just put some healing up. Actually, I was gonna say we could try to kill this guy, but he missed anyway, so he just wasted his last turn. We could put a heal on Sebastian, but I don't think he needs it. Deadweight did move Tradello, unfortunately. Whoa, 13 crit, or uh, 17 crit on Sebastian there. Hmm. You're dead. Let's do this. Start hacking away at this guy on front. You know what? Yeah, why don't you take some time to heal yourself? Death by inches. Wow. Didn't expect that to actually kill the other one. Them all. It's gonna knock him back again? Well, that's kind of frustrating. Uh, we might as well just do the redeem. And for Sebastian, we could just have him transform here real quick and snag the kill. It does give a little bit of stress, but we'll do the most damage here. Looks like this. Confidence oh man, and a crit. The enemy crumbles. A trifling victory. We got most of that stress back, so not a big deal. Alright, we'll go down here and continue our zigzagging. Nice to get all that scouting, too. We got a map. Doesn't really do anything for us, unfortunately. No secret rooms that I see. A lot of, a lot of battles on this map, though, for a short one. <laughs> do we dare? The Shambler always shuffles and surprises you, right? What if we what if we mix up our party? This is a stupid idea. The light. The promise. Oh no, what are you doing? Oh no, he ruined it! Sebastian! 
I was all prepped to do that and everything. Well, crap. Oh well. No Shambler today. So we have some, uh, some squishies here. So we're not going to get our Unholy bonus, but we will get the, uh, the bleed ability here. Wow, just flat out missed everyone there. Therefore, nice, Madman's gone. Broken. That's good. Maintain the offensive. Trill's move resist is pretty bad, I think, yeah. What is it, actually? If we can get a turn here. No, 110, it's actually not that bad. Probably have just Sebastian transform and start hacking away here. Although I would like that guy to die first. Oh, another crit from executed. Sauce there. So much damage. No problem. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Actually running low on torches here now. Two sharpshooters. It's a little sketchy. Especially when they have a strong front line, but they are blightable. Hmm. Now we'll go for damage. The kind of the benefit of having him with the unholy ring is even though he can't get the bleeds, it actually uh, kind of balances out. Just kill this one. Um, yeah, so even though he's not going to get the bleeds in here, it does give him the opportunity to do some pretty significant damage. Grace, however, not so much. Oh, did I say that I renamed that Arbalest? That was, um, Lucellus, I think? I wasn't feeling that name, so I renamed her. She's Grace now. Seems kind of fitting with our previous uh, Arbalest that we lost. Hmm. Let's just go for the damage here. So, I mean, 16 damage is solid. We should be able to get the kill here, actually. Or, you know what, let's do this. There we go. Have Grace take a better shot at this guy. Nice, 13 crit. Pretty solid on a uh, 45 prime. And he died to uh, the Blight there. Very good. Unforgiving. Should be stunnable? Yeah. No any way to lower protection, sadly, but I just chip away here. Has he got five health remaining? We probably could eventually get his bleed resist down low enough that he might get bled, but it's pretty unlikely. Oh, uh, we definitely want that. Promises success. All right, we got a trap here. That'll be all you, Sauce. Sure. Oh, okay. Stout. Plus 15% healing skills while camping. I don't remember what second wind was, but that was probably better. Should really lock in some more of those good traits too. All right, so we got a bone general. Those are always kind of sketchy. We have two, um, two sharpshooters here. Can't hit them all with our accuracy debuff, which is nice. Yeah, 
I don't think I realized it was a minus crit debuff as well. The ground quakes. I'm kind of hoping. I was kind of wanted to see if we could get his uh, bleed resist down, but he's resisting all of those here. Wow, he's resisting everything. His resists aren't even that high for that stuff. Like his debuff and his blight resist are actually really low. We're just getting bad rolls on it. So weird. He is probably bleedable. I think we could stack up enough to actually hit him with that. Since we can hit him with both the, the throwing daggers and um, Tredello's attack. Ooh, that's an unfortunate dodge. Because that would have finished off the sharpshooter. So what is he at? 182? Yeah, we could potentially get it. Rushing blow. Good, that missed. That's actually the uh, pretty heavy debuff if I remember correctly. 152. Probably die before it uh, we have a chance to hit. One nineteen, getting there. I think that the debuffs start falling off at this point. Yeah, he's definitely gonna die before we have a chance. Right, crushing blow is usually a pretty heavy hit. Stun resist. Ooh, speaking of stuns, uh, we could do a redeem here. Yeah. We basically usually want to redeem, wow, double crit heal. We usually want to redeem Angel or Grace because she can't heal herself. That's kind of kind of priority there. Wow, a massive hit from Sauce to send bone chunks all over the place. Seven base heal with her uh, healing receive buff is not bad. Wow, another uh, Sapphire is really nice. We'll dump the last uh, torch there. Oh, uh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Let me get in there. Should be our last room, I think. I don't think it's gonna make us explore the whole place, so. Be a pretty successful run. Guys, also, again, those are really unlikely resists. Because what's the, the blight chance? 140 base, and they've only got 55? I mean, they're getting, they're resisting like, um, what, 85% chances there? Hmm. Ah, I thought we could get the kill there. Left it at one. I have to believe that leaving it at one health is one of those, like, hidden mechanics. I find it hard to believe that we just continually leave things at one health. I'm sure that's, like, there's a chance to... For that to roll, just, you know, they're just gonna survive with one health. Which is fine. Is the weapon that Makes things more interesting own. sometimes, kind of ups the tension a little bit. Next attack should do it. There we go. That's probably our last combat for this run. Success so clearly. We have a torch here for the heck of it. Or is it merely a trick of the light? And complete. Nice. Pretty safe run. I'll take it. Got a lot of money out of that too, I think. And we get that extra sun ring, which is nice. And we will find whatever secrets they hold. Yeah. About 14,000 gold there. Getting closer to Sebastian hitting level 6. He's actually, I believe the Abomination is our last one that needs to hit level 6 to finish that set of the criteria there. The when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. I'll leave you while praying so a glimpse of greater beings controlling destiny. Oh dear. We're at week 101, damn. Alright.
right, well, that will do it for now. I'm not quite sure where we'll go next time, but... Uh, I mean, it's one of those things we could go into the... Um, into the courtyard, but we're not going to get any additional... Invitations from there, I don't think so. We kind of be just. We might as well wait until we have. Sorry, I was just reading these. We might as well wait until we have more invitations to go in there. But yeah, so that will do it for now. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like, help us a bunch, subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon.